everyone, so today I'm going to be talking to you about how I lost weight slash how to enter a healthier lifestyle and back in the winter time I lost 30 pounds so now I feel like since it's summertime I can sit here and talk to you about what I think works and what I think doesn't work so let's just get started. So I have three major keys that I'm going to be talking to you about throughout this video and that is food control and focus. Starting off with food, this is the most important thing ever. Do not let anyone tell you different. Food is the most important thing in both losing weight and becoming a healthier person in all. And that is because food is literally 80% of what you like, what your makeup of your body is. And the other 20% is like working out. It's kind of like, think of the saying, you are what you eat. So if you eat like a lot of pizza and Oreos and junk food and fast food, then that is what you are going to resemble most likely unless you have really good genes or a really nice metabolism. Most likely you're going to be overweight or a little bit chunkier, whereas if you eat like fruits and vegetables and the obvious healthy things, then you are going to be generally more thin, lean, and fit. So in conclusion of my first idea, I'm just trying to say try and cut out all fast food all like sugary pops and all that type of junk, any type of junk food, try and cut it out for at least like a, three days. Try three days and I guarantee your body is literally going to go into shock because you are going to be starving it of all those bad junk foods, but it's going to be good for it. Even though you're starving your body, it's good for it. Just try and do like maybe like a fruit and vegetable cleanse or something and it will have a really positive impact on your body. I will include some of the foods that I ate down below so you guys can go check that out. I'll have all the foods that I ate when I was like dieting or whatever. So moving on to my second like topic or whatever, which is control. Now this kind of goes along with the food, except not really. So so once you have done those three days or whatever of eating fruits and vegetables, try and control yourself every time, you know, you're going to go out with your friends or your parents or whatever, you're going to get like french fries and chicken nuggets or you're going to have or you're going to have like your friends over or something and you guys are going to have a girls night and you are going to want to get pizza or something like that. But instead get something like salad or a watermelon or like do something healthy, make a juice, a fruit bowl, acai bowls, like whatever because they are so much better for your body and I'm kind of going into food now but we're on control. Okay, anyways, some things that helped me were chewing gum. I know this seems kind of weird but once you put a piece of gum in your mouth, especially like mint gum, once you have, or even if you brush your teeth and you have mint in your mouth, so you don't really want to eat, as well as like chewing gum, it kind of like you're chewing, so it's kind of mocking eating in a way. Also, drinking a lot of fluids like water, water is so good for your body, and having like one of those, you know, fruit infuser bottle things, I love those, they're awesome. Um, really keeps you hydrated throughout the day, which definitely helps with like energy, metabolism, and keeping you full. Another major thing, this is. One of the things that was really hard for me when like trying to lose weight because I'm not a big tea person, well at least I wasn't a big tea person back then, but now I love tea. So some of my favorites are um, like the herbal teas, I guess you could, I don't know, or herbal teas, the Tazo teas. Um, this one's one of my favorites, it's the Calm Chamomile one, and this is what I really like to drink right before I go to bed. And it also helps out, especially at times like now, exams, with stress. So this tea is great. It's a little bit expensive, but it is definitely one of my favorites and it tea in all helps curb your appetite, promotes metab of uh, boost promotes metabolism. Boosts your metabolism, it promotes weight loss. It's just overall a good cleanse for your body. And also like things like tea toxes like this. I did this tea tox back in the winter time. I still have a little bit left actually. Um so I've done so many tea toxes. This one is one of my favorites. It's the Skinny Tea Tox. I just started, I got a new one and I'm starting it up again right now, right before summer. And when I did mine back in the winter time for this brand particularly, I did lose like five to seven-ish pounds, I would say. I think it was like six, I don't know, it was a long time ago. I did lose um, a significant amount of weight yes it might have been water weight you know it might have been whatever 
but either way it has a lot of other positive effects on your body other than just losing weight like when people go and do detoxes I think it's really weird when they're complaining about not losing weight when there's so many other healthy benefits when doing these detoxes as there are negative effects but there are a lot of healthy things in here for you like it boosts your metabolism helps you sleep better it gives you more energy you know all these types of things that are really great for your body so I really love tea taxes and I will link this one down below I believe I have a code for it too and this one I found to be on the cheaper side which is also great because a lot of them can be pretty expensive um so yeah and my third and final tip is keeping focused this is kind of the easier part so once you have switched over and made your healthy lifestyle you know like layout and whatever like you know meal plan you can do meal prep you can do anything to help keep you focused you know set goals um, keep backgrounds that motivate you like people that are fit and whatever um, just being around friends that motivate you to eat better and things like that will really help you focus and keep on track with your journey or whatever to weight loss healthy lifestyle whatever you are trying to accomplish right now in life keeping it focused keeping your focus and continuing to do the same things every single day will be the most will be what impacts you for the rest of your life because if you diet for a month you're gonna lose weight in the month but then if you go back to your old habits your old lifestyle then it's just going to be a continuous cycle so that is all I have for you guys today I hope that you guys enjoy this video sorry if it was a little bit boring to you um, I wasn't gonna sit here and come and talk to you about like working out and telling you that you need to work out to lose weight because yes working out has a lot of positive effects on your body like helping with heart rate and like all that mumbo jumbo stuff but you do not working out is not gonna make you lose weight it is going to make you fit and toned and lean and burn calories but it is not necessarily going to make you lose weight and that goes into a whole nother topic that I could ramble on about so yeah that is the end of my video I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you the next one bye Yeah. Cool